Hi, I'm Colin. And I'm Nick. A motor's nameplate contains all the information you need to know. Any information not on the nameplate can be calculated. I'm going to be discussing the full load amperage and the frame size of the motor. And I'll be discussing the power supply voltages and the enclosure and ventilation type. The supply voltage is often one of the first pieces of information noticed on the nameplate of the motor. This is the voltage, or voltages, that the motor is designed to operate with. For motor 1, only one voltage is permitted, although many motors operate under a various range of voltages. 115 and 208 to 230 are common voltages to be applied in industrial applications. Different voltages can be applied to achieve higher or lower currents. The FLA, or full load amperage, is the current drawn by the motor when it is fully loaded. This motor has an FLA of 6.6 .6 amps, or 3.1 to 3.3 amps. The different values are for the different supply voltages that can be used with the motor. So if the supply voltage was 115 volts, then the FLA would be 6.6 .6 amps. There are several things that are dependent on the FLA of the motor. One is the conductor size. The conductors must be able to carry 125% of the FLA. This motor could use 14 gauge wire as it uses less than 25 amps. The conduit size is also based on the wire size and number of conductors. This motor has four 14 gauge wires and then can use six size 16 conduit. The overload selection is also based on the FLA. If the service factor of the motor is 1.15 or more, then the overload should be rated for 125% of the FLA. If the service factor is less than 1.15 or not marked, then the overload rating is 115% of the FLA. For this motor, the service factor is 1.15, so the overload must be rated for 8.25 amps, as that is 125% of 6.6 .6 amps. Enclosures of electrical motors are standardized by NEMA, the National Electrical Manufacturing Association. Enclosures must be chosen properly for the correct application by technologists when designing or redesigning power systems. Knowing the environmental conditions is a key aspect to determining the type of enclosure and ventilation used for the motor. TENV, or totally enclosed, not ventilated motors, are suitable for locations exposed to dirt or dampness, but not suitable for locations exposed to hazardous or explosive air. TEFC, or totally enclosed fan-cooled motors, have the same advantages and disadvantages of TENV motors, only they have external fans blowing air on the outside of the motor, raising the ambient temperature rating. Motors may also come into contact with gases, vapors, and combustible dusts under 40 degrees Celsius if they are rated as explosion-proof. All motors examined in room 137 were of the same enclosure and ventilation type that being totally enclosed fan-cooled motors. This does not give any of our motors the advantage of being suitable for more harsh conditions. The frame number refers to the mount size of the motor. The number generally increases as the size of the motor increases, but the frame number is not a direct indication of the body diameter. The number has two digits. Divide this number by 16 to find the distance from the mount to the center of the shaft in inches. This motor reads 56C, which means the center of its shaft is 3.5 inches from the base of its mount. The C means that it is faceplate mounted on a flange. This means that the motor can be mounted on its face instead of having to have a mount built. As you now understand, technologists must know how to draw a large range of important information for designing complete industrial systems from information provided on the nameplate of a motor. Understanding what is required for your certain application allows the technologist to easily order the required materials for the project. Thank you for watching our video.